Hey, welcome to the five day writing challenge with me, Hannah Gold. You're here, I'm here, we're here together. And I'm really excited about the five days we've got ahead of us. So first of all, hopefully you've got your pen, your journal, and your writing timer to hand. Those are the three things, that's it, you're gonna be needing for the week, as well as curiosity, a sense of adventure, some fun, and an open mind. You'll notice in today's video um, that I also reference the other video. Now the other video is just the writing meditation to accompany these five days. It doesn't mean you need to listen to both every day, um, but I do suggest if you can, listening to that one today makes today's videos a little bit longer, so I do apologize for that. But that other video is all about the meditation to accompany your writing and to start seeing your writing and your book whatever writing project that you're doing in a deeper way so but let's get on to today's one what I want to do is two things today number one just set a nice and simple intention what I call a creative intention for the week ahead um, so mine would be for example I'm halfway through my book. Mine would be to continue writing my book with a spirit of fun, energy. I don't like to set too masculine orientated goals, like I must complete 5,000 words by the end of the week. Um, but if that works for you and you want that kind of figure, go for that. If you want something nice and simple, like I just want to get started with my book and have fun and adventure, that's a really lovely one to go with. Setting in, uh, an intention around writing, it's really important to put the energy with it. We want to reassociate writing with fun and adventure and happiness and creativity, rather than it feeling like a chore or something that you have to do or something which is going to take a really long time and be difficult. So just gently reassociating and reframing what this book is going to be about to you, for what writing is going to be about to you. So have some time thinking about your intention and keep it nice and simple in one sentence. And then for the second part of today's video, we're just going to quickly look at something which is really important, which is why haven't you finished your book before? Why haven't you got started on your book before? And what is it that you think might be holding you back, if there's anything from holding you back in progressing? And the reason why I say this is because I know for me personally, when I wrote my book, which is here, um, one of the things that really held me back was this sense of who did I think I was that I could do it? Could I do it? And I had a lot of nerves around the whole idea of people actually reading something of mine, which was quite vulnerable. And it felt a bit scary. And so that held me back from quite a long time from actually maybe starting it and then finishing it. And many clients that I work with experience very, very similar emotions. Um, so that's what I want to look at today. And from my experience, there's um there's two things that tend to hold people back from starting or restarting or finishing a writing project or maybe sharing their writing in a more public forum. And that's number one, the how. How do I do it? You know, if I'm writing a fiction book, how do I create dialogue? Um, how, do I, how long is a chapter? <laughs> how long should a book be? Um, how do I get published? How to write an opening chapter? How do I get started? Or if it's a non-fiction book, it could just be, well, what's the structure? This is the one I hear all the time. What's the structure I need to tell my, my book? Um, or it could just be, um, you know, in terms of writing copy or blogs, just the how to connect to the reader in a way which is really engaging. So many times a lot of my clients get stuck on the how. But a lot of times they also get stuck on the internal stuff. Who am I? to write a book? Who are you to write a book? You know, hold that question. What makes you so special? Who's going to read it? You know, what would it happen 
if it really does get published and it really does get successful, what does that mean to your life and your relationships and your world? What are people going to say when they read your stuff? You know, really going to stay. So if you find yourself listening to those and thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> ah, you know, um, you're not alone. Self-doubt can be really crippling to, to dreams, particularly writing dreams, because there's something very vulnerable and honest about kind of revealing yourself in the written format. And sometimes these fears, even if you're not aware of them, they're so insidious that they start to play out under the surface. And it's often these little fears which are keeping you from getting started because you're saying, well, I haven't got the time and it's not quite the right time and et cetera, et cetera. That's why I wanted to kick off this challenge, checking in with the mindset. Because if your mind is not totally supporting you, anything else that we put into place it doesn't really matter. It's not going to work because unless you're fully engaged with it on a complete holistic level, then actually you're not going to put your full energy around it. You're going to keep holding yourself back from, you know, from the page, from Amazon, from the bookshop, from the world. So let's have a look at this. What we're going to do then is I'm going to give you some writing prompts. This is like a writing prompt, basically, you've never heard of that before. It's the start of a sentence, and then all you do is finish off the sentence. Um, and the best way to do them is not to overthink it, not to kind of start, oh my gosh, it's got to be correct, get the Tipex pen out and start making it perfect. You're literally not lifting your pen. And I kind of do suggest maybe handwriting prompts because there's something a bit more intimate and personal about it but not lifting your pen from the page and then just seeing what comes out quite often this is the beauty of a writing prompt it takes you in an unexpected direction to what your head is thinking and if you've watched the video about um the, the writing meditation then you'll already know that writing a book doesn't just come from here it doesn't come from here it comes from something here and here and if we stay up here, we're missing the real truth of our book and the real truth of what it is actually we've been put on this earth to say via this book. Your book could have amazing reach. It's going to have amazing reach. But unless we kind of really sit down into actually what it is we're trying to explore, we might not get to the full capacity of your book. The other great thing about doing a writing prompt is what I want you to do this week is get into the habit of writing. And a writing prompt, even if it's not necessarily writing your book, it gets you into the habit of turning up to the page and sitting down and producing something. You know, they say that habits take 21 days to create. We haven't got 21 days, but we've got five really beautiful days to create the beginnings of a writing habit. And I still use writing prompts sometimes. Like if I'm having like a, a day when nothing is coming out on the page with my book, I turn to a writing prompt first just to unlock me. They're kind of like keys. See them as keys as unlocking into your deeper self or your bigger creativity. So I've got some really lovely writing prompts for you to explore. So what I want you to do after this is finished is take your journal, take your pen, Set your timer to 10 minutes. You can use a phone, but remember to turn off Wi-Fi. And then just sit down and answer two or three of the writing prompts. I think there's about six or seven in total that I've got. And they'll be in the accompanying email, so you already see them. Um, and they are, the reason I've not started my book before is, the reason I've not finished my book before is, etc. So choose two or three, the ones that really speak to you the most. And then without overthinking, just write down what comes up. And if anything other comes up, like not even one of those prompts, but you want to kind of explore that, go with it. Bonus tip would be to do the meditation beforehand. Spend some time with that heart-to-heart -heart connection with your book so you can actually really get into the energy of your book before you start doing these. After you've done the writing prompt, you might feel like this is it. 
that's all I've done for the day and that's absolutely fine. But if you're watching this and feeling like, but actually after I've done the writing prompt, it's opened up the door into my creativity and now I feel like actually doing some pro you know, proper writing on your book, you know, go with that energy. And if you don't go with that energy, you can only do what feels right for you. And afterwards, if you want to um, come back into the Facebook group, find the daily designated thread for day one and share, you know, what happened with you, what came up. Some of these fears might feel really personal. So obviously you don't need to kind of like share the actual prompt and share the full writing experience. You might just want to share a snapshot or you might not want to share at all. But do know that I have seen in 20 years a lot of common threads with the fears as so anything that you're probably going to say is something that lots of other people feel too and I think by getting them out into the open it starts to release some of the hold it has over you and by seeing the common denominator of everybody else's fear you realize well hang on a second I'm not the only one to feel this actually maybe my fears aren't the definition of who I am Maybe my fears are just fears. And actually, my writing and me is so much more than that. And I'm so much more powerful than that. And I can achieve so much more than my fears actually say that I can achieve. So, good luck today. And I look forward to seeing you in the thread. And I'll be back tomorrow with a really exciting one of how to keep going and bring your book dreams to life. Can't wait. This challenge is really exciting. Thank you so much for being part. See you then.